If you're Mormon, have you ever wondered how many wives Heavenly Father has? This seems like an obvious question to ask. As you know, the Church teaches that everyone born on earth is a literal child of Heavenly Father in the pre-existence. That means everyone has been born of a Heavenly Mother. In fact, the hymn, O oh My Father, confirms this teaching. In the heavens are parents single? No, the thought makes reason stare. Truth is reason, truth eternal, tells me I've a mother there. But we all can't be born of the same Heavenly Mother. First, you know that Heavenly Father must have had plural wives, just on principle. Moreover, if there were only one Heavenly Mother, there is no way Heavenly Father could have populated the world in any reasonable time. Apostle Orson Pratt acknowledged this on page 38 of his church-sanctioned work, The Seer. Look, according to latest estimates, there have been 110 billion souls who have lived on the earth, and counting. Let's round down and say 100 billion. Now, how long does it take to have a spirit baby in the pre-existence? Well, Apostle Orson Pratt said, it is altogether probable that the period required for the formation of the infant spirit is of the same length as that required in this world for the organization of the infant tabernacle. But let's say things go a little faster in their pre-existence, and let's say it only takes half a year to have a spirit baby. So let's do the math. 100 billion spirit babies divided by two babies per year equal 50 billion years. So it would take 50 billion years for one heavenly wife to make enough babies to populate the earth to date. Apostle Pratt, in his day, thought it would take 100 billion, so I'm being conservative in my guesstimate. Now, while I believe the universe is only 10,000 years old, let's use the atheist's claim that the universe is 14 billion years old. Heck, let's say it's 20 billion. That's still not enough time for one heavenly mother to have all those babies. Apostle Pratt saw this problem too, and noted it would be more efficient if Heavenly Father had more than one wife. You need a multiplying factor. So, doing the math, 100 billion babies divided by 2 babies per year divided by 20 billion years equals 2.5 wives. Let's call it 3. That seems manageable. So with 3 wives, Heavenly Father could populate the earth from the beginning of the universe. But wait! The Church teaches that Heavenly Father is just one of many gods, and only the God of this world. So we can't have been a god since the beginning of the universe. The atheists say that this solar system is 4.5 billion years old. So if that's when Heavenly Father formed this world, then that means he must have 11.1 wives. 100 billion babies divided by 2 babies per year divided by 4.5 billion years gives a factor of 11.1. Let's say he has 12 wives. That sounds manageable. Joseph Smith had at least 33 documented wives, and Brigham Young had 27. But wait! The Earth wasn't inhabitable until recently. The atheists say man has only been around a few million years. If we err on the high side and say that Heavenly Father got a head start 10 million years ago, then that means Heavenly Father must have 5,000 wives. 100 billion babies divided by 2 babies per year per wife divided by 10 million years gives a factor of 5,000 wives. Hmm, is that manageable? Well, let's see. If Heavenly Father has to sire all those babies, that means he has to impregnate his 5,000 wives twice a year. That's 10,000 operations a year. Now, there are 24 hours in a day and 365 days in a year. That's 8,760 hours. Divide that by 10,000 operations a year, and that means, on average, Heavenly Father is operating every 53 minutes. That assumes Heavenly Father doesn't sleep, or eat, or isn't busy with anything else. And that assumes he works at this 24-7 and doesn't rest on the seventh day. If he only works six days with his wives, well, you do the math.